Leaves make some of the best compost, especially when put into pig pens and pigs are allowed to help break them down. If you've wondered how to compost leaves an easy way with pigs, I'm here to show you how we do that today. The biggest thing I'm gonna show you in this video is the benefit that we get from the leaves uh, and the true value that we get and that the pigs get out of leaves in the pig pen. So stay tuned to see how we manage this easily and effectively and create some wonderful compost. So I'm gonna give you the six major uh, values or benefits that we get from bringing leaves onto the farm uh, in order of the least important to the most important. But before I do, there's one major problem with bringing leaves onto the farm. It requires a lot of time, energy, and money to bring leaves on the farm. Yes, leaves are free to get. People put them in bags and they make it easy for you to go pick them up, throw them in a truck, put them on a trailer, and bring them out to the farm. But in each bag of leaves, there may be 10 to 15 pounds of dry matter leaves per bag. However, if the leaves are wet, if there are sticks in the leaves, if there are acorns or nuts or whatever else, those bags can then be weighing anywhere from 10 or 15 pounds all the way up to 30, 40, 50, even 60 or 70 pounds if the leaves are really, really wet. Each of those bags of leaves has to be handled at least twice and sometimes three times. You put them on the trailer or the truck, you take them off the trailer or the truck, and then you may have to drag them somewhere or push them with a tractor. Then when you dump them, you gotta pick them up again. So it's just a lot of material handling. Also, when you're driving to pick up the leaves, if I make 40 to 50 miles round trip, yes, it can cost me oh, roughly uh, five to six gallons of gas for driving my truck with the trailer in that process. But the wear and the tear on the vehicle is even more costly than the gas, and it's more costly than just standard vehicles. When you get the leaves to the farm, not only do you have to dump them and empty them, but you get a lot of trash just from the empty garbage bags. Also, a lot of times when people are bagging leaves, you'll find anything from trash, like you can see the pig now shaking that trash that was in the pen and then you gotta get it from the pigs and you gotta clean it up and it's just a good bit of hassle to do that. The worst problem that people put into the bags of leaves is a lot of times you'll find beer bottles or whiskey bottles. I'm not sure what's going on when people bag leaves, y'all, but it is amazing what you'll find in those bags of leaves. The first value that I'll mention that I find in getting leaves is it reduces a lot of the cost associated with uh, getting rid of yard debris in local landfills. It may seem crazy, but we want to provide value to our community, not only by providing uh, high quality meat from pork and beef and, and what other animals that we are raising, but we also want to provide value to the community while we also increase the benefits on the farm. And if we can uh, save the community a little bit of money in landfill fees, then that's one thing that we can do and we're happy to do to be able to do it. The second value or benefit that we get from putting leaves into the pig pen is that it provides a world of a lot of entertainment to the pigs. Pigs in a small space get bored easily and one of two things happen. Just like people, they either get depressed or get into trouble. And I can't tell you <laughs> when I am bored, uh, I tend to get into trouble, which is even worse, but um, it just provides the pigs something to do other than eat from a feed trough all day long and then sit down and rest. Uh, so it creates a good quality of life for the pigs. When the pigs start running around and start shaking bags or when they start shaking the trash in the bags or when they start shaking sticks or something, you can't tell me they're not having fun and you can't tell me that they're not happy pigs. He said pigs don't have personalities. <laughs> the third reason that we bring leaves onto the farm, or there's a lot of nutrition in the leaves, and our farm has a lot of worn out soils. There are lots of micronutrients like boron, iron, manganese, zinc, sodium, chloride, cobalt, nickel, all those kind of things. But in each ton of leaves, there's roughly 940 pounds of carbon, uh, 20 pounds or so of nitrogen, um, two pounds of phosphorus, 7.6 pounds of potassium, about 32 pounds of calcium, um, 
magnesium. There's often about four pounds. Uh, this is just information that you can get from various sites, but it, it provides a world of a lot of nutrition on the farm. So we like taking what can be a problem for communities and landfills and turning it into treasure to restore the worn out soils on our farms. Those micronutrients especially are really, really beneficial because in a lot of commercial fertilizers, they focus on the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, sometimes the calcium and manganese, but rarely do you get a lot of the micronutrients. And so we really like this part. So the fourth benefit or use or value of leaves on the farm is that we make compost out of the leaves. Occasionally we'll sell the compost and it does provide a lot of, of extra cash, but it's expensive. It takes a lot of time and energy. Our farm needs it. And so unless we get a premium price on the compost, we do not sell it. Also, sometimes there are weed seeds in it because we use bulk hay uh, and some people don't want them on their gardens. The fifth value that we get out of the leaves is there's a lot of feed in the leaves that we get. Now, don't get me wrong, the pigs will eat a few of the leaves. I don't know why they do or what they are doing with it, but the feed value that we get is out of the acorns, the pecans, the hickory nuts, the beech nuts that we find in the bags of leaves. Uh, most of the time it's acorns. I tend to go where I know that there are a lot of oak trees and I get leaves uh, from those yards. I can get anywhere from 50 to 250 pounds of, of acorns out of the bags of leaves when I'm picking them up. Now granted, I'm paying about 17 cents per pound for my feed right now, so it's not the most economical reason to get the leaves. However, it does help offset the costs of driving and picking up the leaves. I'm gonna give you just a few moments to listen to the next couple clips without any audio so that you can hear the pigs crunching on the acorns and the hickory nuts that out of these bags of leaves. The most important reason that I bring leaves to the farm right now is I have a lot of pigs in a 4,000 square foot pig pen. They produce a world of a lot of manure. And so the leaves, in addition to some hay and some straw and some chunks of wood and wood chips, the leaves provide a carbon source to help absorb the urine and the manure from the pigs. And then I tend to push it up into a pile and then let it turn into compost that will then be spread on the farm or occasionally we may sell a little bit of the compost if the price is right. But there are much cheaper sources of compost for people to put it into their yards or gardens or flower beds. Although the compost typically is not going to be quite as good as this in terms of the biochar the wood chips and everything else that goes into making this manure based compost. Now occasionally I'll have neighbors and I can just pull up, load their leaves onto the trailer and then drag them off with the tractor. This is my neighbor and friend here. I know it's a lot of work, but if you wanna recycle your leaves and keep them from going out into the landfill, you can drop them off at our farm. There, we just cannot get to all the places that have leaves to pick up in our area. But if you bring your leaves, your pumpkins, your acorns, all that kind of stuff, we can not only recycle them, not only can we uh, compost them and keep them from going into the landfill, but they'll also do some benefit for the pigs as well. So if you want to recycle some of your leaves or compost them or something, reach out to us on our website. Uh, you can email us, rob at dowdlefamilyfarms.com. Uh, you can also call or text and we'll get in touch with you. By the way, you can still create great mulch and compost with leaves and you don't have to dump them into a landfill. You can do that in your backyard, around your flower beds, in your garden. 
Uh, there are lots of other resources. We just do it with pigs because we have a world of a lot of need for carbon sources for our pigs when we're training them to the electric fences. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It'd help a lot if you'd share it. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on YouTube via text. However, uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already. Take care, and I hope you have a great day.